hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel yay i'm super excited to have you all here if you're new here thank you so much for coming to my channel and if you've been here before or you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming to my channel please do well to like this video share the video leave a comment in the comment section if there's something you want to tell me there's something you want to ask me or there's something you want me to do please do well to leave it in the comment section and i would definitely respond to you yeah and please if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please do well to subscribe to this channel thank you so much what we have for today so today i'll be taking you guys through my admission process my visa process and how i finally moved from nigeria to dublin so let's go right into it so sometime in um um the early months of 2022 um i was still serving as a den and i was like going next after service and i was just like i want to travel for my master's i want to travel abroad so i told my family about it and they were like okay cool that's so nice and um my elder brother sent me the contact of an agent if you want to travel abroad do and you want it to be very easy for you no stress just contact ck study plug they're really good there. I'm telling you, they know what they are doing. <laughs> yes, they helped me throughout my process, my admission process, my visa process. And the lady, Nina, that attended to me, she was so good because I kept on asking her questions and she kept on putting me through anywhere I needed assistance. So, yes, yeah, so check them out on Instagram. Send them a DM if you want to travel, if you want to make inquiries, call them, leave them a message, send them an email. Yeah, so that being said, um, I said um, my application process for my admission actually in June. So I met, I spoke with my agent sometime in February 2022. And she was like, okay, she asked me the school I wanted because I wanted. And I told her and she was like, okay, the, um, the school actually takes two sets of two sets, like two intakes, two batches every year. And that's January batch and September batch. And they had already processed the um, admission and all for those in January 2022. And currently they were processing the admission of those who wanted to go in with the September batch in 2022. And she was like, do I want to go in with the September batch? And I was like, no, that I was still serving as a then. And I wanted to be done with my service first before I traveled. And she was like, okay cool that then i would go with the january batch and i was like okay yeah that's fine because i was um as a den i was going to finish my service in november and i was like okay november then i'll just travel in january so um around june she messaged me that um that do i have my documents ready because um, during that time, that was February to June, she told me I should be getting all the documents ready, all the documents I'll need for um to apply to the school for admission. I should get them ready, and I got my documents ready. And as of June, she asked me to send my documents to her so she could apply to the school for me. And the documents that she asked me to send was my BSc results from my university, transcripts from my university, my CV my um original wire results and um she also asked me to send my international passport so if you're planning to travel abroad or you want to go for your masters get those five documents ready so that when the school you want to apply to start their application process or their admission process you will not be running up and down yes you will not just be disorganized and all so just get them ready and handy so in case you want to travel and yeah so that's that so i sent her and i sent her those documents in june she applied to the school for me and in july i got my admission she sent me my admission letter and showed me my admission was ready and that i should um pay my fees and all so i can start applying for visa and all so after i did that i paid my school fees um i waited for my school to send me my um receipt and all and they sent everything that i needed because um i was going to use it to apply for my visa so and then she told me i should go and write an english exam i could either write duolingo pt ielts or anyone i wanted but i picked duolingo because duolingo was actually like very cool i wrote it from the comfort of my home duolingo is actually very an interesting exam you can just go to their website and practice even if you're not ready to write the exam so in case you want to travel you know now you can write dual and go to um some countries 
yeah it's actually very it was actually very good it was easy yes so um i wrote my duolingo um, english exam my results came out like two days later and it was time for me to apply for my visa so um my agent sent me a checklist of all the documents i'll be needing there are a lot there are a lot but let me just group them into three um i'll group them into the visa requirements the academic um requirements and the financial requirements i'll just group them into those three maybe um some other time i'll do a detailed video of all the documents you'll be needing for um your visa process that is if you want to apply to the irish embassy as an international student yeah the documents are actually a lot but like i said earlier they all fall under the visa requirements academic requirements and financial requirements so um you must make sure you have all the documents ready i made sure i um got all the documents on the checklist ready i ticked every document i had gotten as at a, as at any time i got them i'll just tick the checklist she sent to me to make sure i was on track and i was communicating with her so when i got all my documents ready i told her all my documents were ready and she was like okay since all my documents were ready i should just go ahead and um book an appointment day if i an appointment day with the embassy if i was sure all my documents were ready and i spoke to my brother my brother was like yes go ahead book your appointment date and all so i booked a day that was convenient for me and a day i was sure that i had gotten all my documents ready and i want i'll tell you if you're going to the embassy or you want to travel out and you're submitting documents make sure you do all your photocopies from home Make sure you have all your documents ready so you will not get there you will not be confused or you'll be running up and down looking for where to photocopy it's not like very easy there to photocopy and all and it's even more expensive so if you want to travel it's just an advice make sure you get all your documents ready you're set to you've already arranged them because there's a way you would arrange them there when i got there i even had to rearrange my documents and of course they have a particular way they want you to arrange this set of documents and how you would like fix them and all so i booked an appointment day my um, agent applied for my she applied the, um, for my visa application form for me and we filled the form and she sent me she sent it to me i printed it out and when it was the day of my appointment i went there and i submitted my um i submitted all my documents and um i paid and they said they were going to like when it was when the visa was ready they were going to like send it to me and i dropped my address and all and definitely <laughs> so um actually my visa took six weeks to get approved it got approved like six weeks later like six weeks after my appointment date so um the um irish um embassy they usually release their like um the visas that have been approved or denied every monday so um as when it was like four weeks i started checking <laughs> my agent would send me to check me i would go and check she would ask me she would send me the list i'll check i'll go and check so um four weeks nothing five weeks so the sixth week i i was so like <laughs> i was so i didn't even i was just so excited then i checked i saw my visa had been approved i checked the um, website and i saw that my visa had been approved i was so excited then like few hours later i got a call that um that that was at home that they wanted to deliver my um so, uh, my package to me and i was like yes that's so nice i was at home so they delivered it to me i collected it i opened it i opened my uh, my international passport and i said that my visa was approved i was so excited i called my family i told them that yes i was going to dublin <laughs> yeah, i was very excited so um the next thing i did was i booked my flights because i got my visa i applied um sometime in october and the first i think first week of december i got my i got my um i got my visa so i just booked my flight because um i didn't want to wait any longer <laughs> i booked my flight for january my school was going to resume january um uh, my school was going to resume like ending of january but i booked my flight um like one week before my school was going to resume because um the school had this orientation program so I and i wanted to attend so i booked my flight for that period and i went and that was how i moved from nigeria to dublin as an international student yeah so um 
there are a lot that i just had to cut like so this video will not be so long but then if there is any question you want to ask me there's anything you want to know or there's anything you want me to tell you just drop it in the comment section and i will definitely respond to you so thank you so much for watching my video i really do appreciate please do well to like this video subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to share thank you so much see you in my next video bye